make sure you stand till the end because you might have hidden clips and if you don't know where they are you can actually damage the door panel all that will be covered today Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW, guys. 3 or 4 series BMW, generation F30, F31, F32, F33, F36. If you need to remove or replace door mirror, okay, side mirror, stay with us. We'll explain how to do that on the driver's side. Uh, passenger side will be practically almost identical. So let's go ahead, start on it. We're going to explain common mistakes people make and how to avoid those as well. So all that will be covered today. Before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We constantly take them apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools for your BMW or any car, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Check it out. So let's go ahead start on it now so what we need to do first right here this cover needs to come out guys okay this cover will need to be removed if it has a few clips so let's go ahead and do that now so we will start with panel removal too do not do this part first you're going to start from the top you have one clip that goes in this angle so you need to do that clip last because it's need it needs to kind of like slide towards the front it's very important guys okay to remember that so you can see so we start like that slowly we pull out slowly and it came out okay this is the clip that we need to slide you can see in that spring over here otherwise it can damage it guys now uh, what do we have here here it's a Torx guys Torx 25 or Torx 30 okay one both hard to see I think it's Torx 25 let's try Torx 25 okay one on top perfect and then we'll have one on the bottom so that's what we're working on now i didn't see that that hole here that's a little bit disturbing here perfect working on the second one now okay let's go ahead and find it maybe sometime today okay we're going to probably get it sometime soon let me see now okay make sure that it's the right there okay first time so we got that one now guys we have hidden things here if you remove the door panel you will not be able to disconnect the window switch so first we need to go ahead and disconnect remove the window switch and we'll explain okay how to do that now so the window switch you have four metal clips two on this side two on the other side so we're going to get a plastic panel removal tool okay this is one of the metal clips right there let's press this one in okay we might need to get a small screwdriver to push that one in because i will not be able guys okay i want to show you where that clip is it's that shiny little thing right there so let's go ahead push that in only in okay let me get one more two one second i need to work with two of them okay let's press on the clip now okay he didn't come out he has one more towards the front too let me see where the other one is okay right there well the thing is it's a little bit of a mess whoever designed that thing okay i can see it towards the front there okay we have these two clips that we need to press one here and one on the front right there more a little bit to the front right there yep okay let's see now so let us show you now about our window switch right here there will be hidden clips one two you have three four but you have a hard time getting them out you come on the front if you come towards the front you lift up a little bit on the front and it kind of like slides and then to the front it comes out one clip here on the front guys two on the back you can see this one just slide out so the clip that we have on the front okay 
it's that clip okay right there that I think it was supposed to be that way okay that clip is this way you're supposed to push it in this clip on the front you push that one in you lift up then you come on the back okay and you slide it back now we can disconnect the window switch okay like that press down and pull it out you can see just like that we got it out so now we shouldn't have any more screws we should be able to practically remove the door panel with a panel removal tool we're going to get usually on the front okay and you're going to start getting these clips loose sometimes when you get your hands underneath you can start pulling if a clip breaks we'll put a link where you can buy replacement clips at a really good price because sometimes they will break sometimes they'll be exposed to a lot of heat guys during the years so they can actually break okay this one we're going to lift up there you can see it has it has metal clips here pull up more okay that thing will come out now we need to disconnect guys the cables you can do it in two ways from the inner door handle or from here guys so well whatever is more convenient for you here it's very easy you can just pull it that way pull it like that okay you can see and uh, the only thing that we need to do now here we have one clip okay okay we need to get a clip removal too to pull that wire and that's the window switch connector you can see how we cannot reach the window switch here oh careful this is the light okay this is the light for the uh, door panel and here this is the flood uh, the light when you open on the bottom okay so it can actually illuminate underneath so door panel you can see came out just like that so now watch now the clips sometimes you're going to get those uh, uh, rubber bushings you need to install them so that way the panel doesn't vibrate and you don't have noises later if any of the clips uh, comes off you just slide it out okay if it came off and it's stuck on the door you remove it and you push it back on the panel if it's broken you just replace it with a new one guys we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get one from let's explain where all the clips are located so you know what to expect from the back side of the door panel okay. we're missing one thing still here okay let's see if that door has been removed before because i do not see actually one soft bushing is missing so we'll need to buy a replacement one here but starting here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine clips that we have to remove that door panel now so now that trim right here we grab it and we're going to start pulling it a little bit out of the seal okay and here we might need to okay let me see if we'll need to remove that one or not it needs to come out this way do not apply much pressure because it goes in a certain angle guys okay it comes out okay you can see just okay just like that now so now the wire here for the mirror we press these things in okay and we pull it out like that talk sturdy start looking good we're going to remove three screws three bolts excuse me one out hold the mirror with one hand because it will come loose number three now okay that mirror now we're going to come on the outside and you're going to shake it a little bit okay you're going to see now let me just position myself okay to where we can go ahead and grab it for me and it's going to come out okay it has a foam piece here okay and the whole mirror assembly came out guys you can see just like that so this is guys the mirror out of bmw f30 f31 or if you have f32 f36 that's how you guys remove it not very complicated at all you just need to remove the door panel and then you can easily get to the mirror you cannot do it without removing the door panel because you cannot remove that trim piece right there hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing that information if you want to see anything else specifically on bmw or uh, anything taking engines apart mechanical work electrical check out our channels guys we have quite helpful information where you can save thousands of dollars in repairs thank you for watching and see you next time